What up, y'all? Back with another video to demonstrate more of um, Tony Hacks, the exploit that let us run um, PS1 backups on a uh, unmodded PS1. And um, I've modded um, PlayStation Underground Volume 3 Issue 4, and I've bundled it with the save files to make it a little easier for um, for people who are unable to get it on a PlayStation 1 memory card. As you can see, my memory card is empty right now. And I am going to boot Um, I did that wrong. Hold on. I forgot. I need to keep the lid open for um, the boot disk to work. Here I am using Breaker Pro. I don't want to re restart my video. Okay, it's going now. Breaker Pro. So normally people, um, they use a PS2 with U Launcher Elf to, um, to do, to transfer the save files. But I have modified this PlayStation Magazine demo uh, disc to um, include the files because inside the disc there's a portion in there called um, Download Station. So we can just um, download the files directly onto a PS1 memory card without using a desk drive if you don't have a PS2 or PS3. Uh, yeah. So shout out to So Crown for developing this exploit. It works a little different from um, traditional swapping methods. Basically, um, yeah, I've added this video tutorial to this. So um, what it does is it disables a, a, a security check inside the PlayStation. And it remains um, unlocked until you reset the console. So what that means is um, you can play games like Monster Rancher and open the lid and you know swap this with other games and reinsert the back of this and it'll work. And it also work with um, multi bin games that has CDDA audio. AKA Red Book Audio. Cause you know, once you open the lid and put a new disc in, it basically refreshes the talk table of contents. And before you can't lift the lid open or it won't, the, you know, you can't, um, if you lift the lid open, then the swap trick won't work anymore. And it uses uh, the talk from the donor disc. So yeah, this exploit, it, you know, I'm not an expert, but it just does, it unlocks the security. So yeah. So this um, mod that I modified, um, there's a section in here called Download Station. So, um, so the idea is simple, you know. <laughs> You just download it onto your memory card. So simple, I'm surprised no one ever, ever, ever thought of it before. So yeah, um, you know, this is the main file right here. This is the Tony Hacks exploit. So I wrote a description. Um, this is the main file required to run the exploit. The other files are game specific specific once this is downloaded return to the menu and scroll down to select a game that you have oh oh yeah squares to download downloading please wait and if you try to download it again it'll say file exists so I have Tony Hawk 
Pro Skater 2 burned. Um, yeah. So I'll just download that. You only need two files, but um, you know, why don't I just download it all? You know, I, I bundled Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, 4, and also the uh, PAL regions. And the author will continue to provide more games in the future. And this is the PAL region. Though I'm not sure how you're going to get this NTSC disc to work on a PAL. I guess you can patch it with a PAL, uh, NTSC to PAL. That's possible. Or, you know, many boot discs, like my Breaker Pro, it has an option to switch to PAL or NTSC. I don't know much about that. So there goes all the files. And that's all we need with this. So let us, let's check the memory card data. And there goes all the files. No need for a PS2 soft mod anymore. All right. <coughs> so um, now let's give it a try. Oh, and certain games like Chrono Cross, see there's, um, you can select the video mode. But yeah, some games like Chrono Cross, um, it, it has multi-disc and when you finish the first disc, it'll, it'll tell you to switch to disc 2. And you can't do that, you know, because it's a backup game. But with this method, you can now do it. Ain't that awesome? So, um, it's best to have the original Tony Hawk games, but if you don't have it, you can always burn it and do the swap tricks. Let's see. So it's gonna read the data of the memory card, scanning memory card. Loading Tony Hacks. I have no idea how he did that, but that is incredible. Then select cre create player. And it's gonna load up the Tony Hacks version 1.1. Swap CD now. And I just have my NBA Jam copy right here. This has Red Book Audio. And I don't need that. See how the list open now. So, um, so it unlocked the CD drive. So we can, you know, open the lid, close it, and all that. I want to try with Monster Rancher or MTV Music Generator because those games you can lift the lid open and, you know, put music CDs and sample this. A monster launcher, you can um, insert any disc to generate a monster. So just a little quick video. Um, I've already submitted this this patch to romhacking.net. Um, by the time you see this video, it should be available on there. See, normally if I was to swap with um, a game like this, it won't have any background music. But um, using this method, as you can see, the music plays.
So um, be on the lookout for the 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 mod, which will be available on ROMHacking.net. I've named it um, PlayStation Underground 3.4 with Tony Hacks bundle. Well, I submitted it. I named it Download Station with Tony Hacks, but I think I need to revise that. Hopefully, they'll let me revise it because I should be more specific, you know. So there it is. Music is working and everything. And I took a break from my NBA Jam 2-1 mod to mess around with this exploit. But I should get back to work on this. And this mod will be available in maybe a week or two. Um, thanks again. Peace.